Good day everyone and welcome back to the Netgave. In this tutorial we will look at the 4 digit 7 segment display module that operates with the TM1637IC. We will connect it to the Raspberry Pi Pico and look at a library to control the display. In the first example we will look at how to show words, scrolling text or numbers and in the second example we will use it to display the time using the famous DS1302 clock module which we covered in a previous video on this channel. 7 segment displays have been used for a long time and are great for your DIY projects. These displays come in different shapes and sizes where some do not have controllers and use separate panels to light up a specific segment. To follow along with this tutorial you will need the following. A Pico and a 7 segment display with the TM1637 driver IC and 4 female to female jumpers if you connect it directly to the Pico or 4 male to female jumpers and a breadboard to connect it as I have done here. In example 2 we will add a DS1302 clock module which we will need 4 extra jumper wires depending on how you connect it to the Pico. Make all the necessary connections as indicated in the schematic diagram. For this project we will need a library to set up the TM1637 driver and we will use a library written by Mike Kauser, link given in the description and the DS1302 library written by the user Omar. I have included all the libraries and code in my GitHub repository to keep everything together. Download all the files to your computer and in Fonny click on view files and navigate to the downloaded files. Highlight the four files and upload it to your Pico. Let us take a look at example 1 together. We import all the necessary libraries, the DM1637 driver library, pin from machine and uTime to create a delay between the different functions. We will initialize the display by creating a variable display and setting it to the library and the correct pins for the CLK and DIO pins. We have different methods we can use with the library. The first method is show, this allows us to display 4 characters. In this block of code we display the word cool which will be displayed when we run this code. This will display for 4 seconds and then we will clear the screen with 4 empty spaces for 4 seconds before we go to the following method. The next method is number which allows us to display a number from negative 999 through 9999 which will be right aligned. Here we use the number method to display negative 502 for 4 seconds and clear the screen for 1 second and then we display 418 for 4 seconds. The following method is a scroll method which will display a string on a display, scrolling from a right to left and the speed will be adjustable. To adjust the delay we can add the parameter delay which we pass the time delay in milliseconds. Here we display Pico is cool at a default frame rate. The next method we will look at is the temperature method which allows us to display a temperature from negative 9 through 99 followed by degrees celsius. For example in this block of code we will display 34 degrees celsius. And then finally we can control the display's brightness by setting a value of 1 to a maximum brightness of 7. Here we have a short loop showing each brightness with the word cool. That will go from 1 to 7 with a delay of 1 second. That is the basics of the display using all the methods. Now let's look at example 2 how we can use the display to create a clock. In this block of code we import the DS1302 library and then create a variable to initialize the clock by setting it equal to DS. We can then set a date time which takes the following parameters but in this demonstration we will focus on showing the hours and minutes so we initialize our starting hour and minutes. After uploading this code remember to comment out the line and re-upload the code so that when you turn off the Pico and turn it back on the time will carry on since when you have set it. Now we create an endless loop where we will create variables to set it equal to date time. And using the numbers method we can display our hours and minutes. And that is a straightforward example how you can make a bare minimum clock. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and for more videos on the Pico consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next video.